Today, Nathan says we'll be fishing for full frontal muskies. Uh, Brian, I do believe I said post frontal muskies. I've heard it both ways. What's going on, everybody? You're watching Angling Anarchy. My name's Brian, and we are fishing for muskies. That is my friend Nathan, who just made the cast and waved at the camera. It's late in the day because we started on a different body of water, and then we got, well, we didn't get chased off. We got chased off by the fact that we weren't seeing anything. And then when we were putting the boat in on this body of water, a storm hit. So we may or may not have found a local establishment to hang out for a while. <laughs> And waited the storm out, so we literally have maybe four hours to fish on, this is the second day of the Northern Wisconsin musky opener. Yesterday we were able to put two fish in the boat, nothing very big, but everybody we talked to uh, sounded like they were having a tough day. Uh, there was definitely fish being caught, but it was not a banger for anybody uh, that we heard of, so. Cold water. Yeah, 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 definitely cold water. It's in the upper 50s. A lot of times for the opener up here, you're looking at mid 60s, sometimes upper 60 degree water temps. So uh, that might be helping, might be keeping some fish uh, up in some post spawn areas. We definitely have been seeing a lot of fish with spawn scars on them, the ones that we've been catching in the pictures we've been seeing of the folks that are lucky enough to catch them. So little glides, we're fishing some skinny water. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can catch some northern Wisconsin muskies. All right, folks, this is quickly becoming my favorite new bait. I'm going to throw this little Kodiak blunt nose glider. It's a five and a half inch glider by Chaos Tackle. I'm actually going to switch it up, and I've got a 9.6 SWAT with a 400 tranks. I'm going to throw it with that. And just to show you really quick, toss the bait out. I don't use the rod tip, I just use the reel pop it back and forth and it walks this little guy back and forth quite nicely. So that's what I'm rocking and let's see if we can get a muskie. Did you see like a roll or something? Yeah, yeah there was a boil like six inches to the side of it. I guess it's probably just a smallie or something. Uh, I was a little bit to the left of that, but oh, musky! Nice musky, Nathan. Nice musky. Okay, coming around. Ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, dude. Oh, yeah. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Dude, that was epic. We're going to get an anchor down, maybe. <laughs> wow, this is a cluster. This is a cluster. Here, I got the net. I got the net. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna reset here, folks, and uh, we're gonna show you musky. Boom, oh. dude! That was so freaking cool. Oh it came god. up and absolutely ate that bait. Oh my god. Well, I don't. <laughs> A little bit speechless again. We tried fishing this body of water last year to no avail. We tried it on a whim. We tried another body of water this morning, nothing. We saw one fish and it was just dead. We got chased off just as about we were coming here. We got chased off by a storm. It's nice and sunny now as you can see and we have got our first muskie probably in the first what half hour yeah. of fishing. It absolutely ate this. I thought I was gonna have to cut hooks. Luckily I was able to get in with a long player, pair of uh, needles pliers pop the bait out but let's take a look at this beautiful probably like an upper 30s fish um, and we'll get it back in the water
Alright. Okay. What a gorgeous northern Wisconsin muskie, huh? What a beautiful fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so awesome. Looks like his eye's a little bit screwed up on this side. I don't know if you can see that, the eye on that side, but something weird going on there. But all right, that's enough of that. I can feel him kind of wanting to pop a little bit. Get on this side. <laughs> okay, all right, I know. Is that going in the water? There he goes, he just kind of swam down to the bottom. It's gonna hang out, so. Wow, I don't know if we're gonna get another one or not, but just to get that one fish is really, really cool. So we've got a couple more hours before it gets too dark to fish. Let's see if we can get another one. Well done, man, nice net job. That was a little dicey there. She was <laughs> jumping all over the place. So, oh, all right, let's keep going. I mean, there's no reason it couldn't, but do I have like the utmost confidence? I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> Yep. I mean, if you want to switch to something, go to the. Well, you could throw the pelagic if you wanted to. Fish, fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice fish, nice fish. It's another musky, Nathan, I think. Yep. I think. Yep, it is. Okay, here we come, here we come. Nice. Dude! Wow! It's almost like we know what we're doing. Nice jump. Like it just, it, it came forward with it. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. What is... Yes, <laughs> dude. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is so freaking cool. Wow. All right, what are we, what, half hour after the last one? We are into our second muskie, about the same size, that upper 30 class fish, but I couldn't be happier on these small bodies of water. This is a blast in the small boat fishing with, it's that little Kodiak blunt nose glide by Chaos Tackle again. Absolutely ate it. Again, with the long nose pliers, we were able to pop it out of there without having to, to cut hooks, you know. We're equipped to do that if we have to, but luckily we didn't have to. So let's take a look at this beautiful little fish here. Get him out of the bag. I'm gonna grab him this way, I think, if I can. All right, come here, buddy. There we go. Another fish. It's got a spawn scar on this side. I don't know what it looks like on that side, but what a pretty little fish. I want to even say little. That's a, that's an upper 30 fish. That's a beautiful fish. So fun. Gave us a really good show when it uh, when I was fighting it. Jumped clear out of the water. I'm surprised it didn't throw the hooks. But like I said, it ate that bait so hard. There was no chance of that happening. So, all right, let's get it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. You're gonna be just fine, aren't you? Get their head pointed in the right direction. There he goes, just kind of getting his nose pointed back in the flow and hanging out. So, I, well, how much time do we have left? The sun's still pretty high. We've probably got a couple hours. So, two fish. We're already, I mean, this is awesome. Anything after this is gravy. So, let's keep fishing, see if we can get one even bigger, maybe crack that 40 inch range. Usually, I would give you guys a midday update. This time around, it's going to have to be a mid trip update because we got out so late. As I said before, we started off on a different body of water. Nothing was really happening. Chased off by storms, hung out. So our day really didn't start until what, 4, 4.30 yeah. that we got out here. Um, so sort of had low expectations. We're really almost just sort of hoping to bump into maybe some pike or smallies. But the fact that we have two muskies in the boat is just unreal. So just goes to show you. Even if you have a little time to go out, it's always worth it to go out and give it a shot because you just never know what's gonna happen.
Well, for a short day of musky fishing, I'm gonna call that a win. For a long day of musky fishing, I'm gonna call two fish uh, of that caliber in the boat a win. And yeah. V is for victory. Absolutely, man. <laughs> we have one more day of this silliness ahead of us. Hopefully we can put something together. We've got warming water temps. We've got a nice day coming up. So um, I'm just thinking the waters that we've been fishing the last two days, we're gonna check out both of them potentially tomorrow using the same baits. We're just using gliders, the Lelure's Pelagic. Nathan, Nathan has a top water out right now. We're just kind of checking things out. It's a little bit shallower here. So hopefully that's something to look forward to. And somebody's screaming by the boat launch. So we're gonna go hopefully not get attacked by crazy people. There's a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> kayaking and stuff. They got chased off by the rain and everything though. So, all right, that's it. I'm obviously rambling. That means it's time to wrap it up. I appreciate every single one of you watching and I will see you on the next video.